birthday I think it's not my birthday fever. I'm very yellow. Oh my god, hold on. Um, my blood work done yesterday, so we'll see how that goes. But I do want to show you guys what my belly looks like. So, hold on. Let all the way to my back. Uh, a couple of incisions. I'm still very bloated. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to go in my belly buttons. Just really just really good. So, that's kind of what that looks like. I'm going to try to vlog for the rest of the day. And then, I'm going to do for now. I'm going to hop in the shower. So, let's go. Hello, hello, hello. I would say good morning, but it's um, almost 9 o'clock at night. So what in the world happened and why am I in the hospital? Um, where do I start? Well, I had my gallbladder removed. We all know that. And I was telling you guys that there was a little bit of a leak still from a vein. Um, well, apparently it was not such a little leak. Um... There is a hematoma that has now gathered underneath my liver that is now infected. And it started causing some issues. Um, I came in yesterday. So, 12 hours ago, 24 hours ago. Um, they did a CAT scan, took a bunch of blood work, and I'm like, mm, you need to be admitted. So, that's where I'm at. I'm admitted. I should be going home tomorrow. My fevers are broken. They have me on um, antibiotics through my IV every couple of hours, nonstop. Um, some other meds to break down the hematoma. They don't think it requires surgery. My white cell count is going down, which is good. My red cells are going up. My hemoglobin is going up. My blood pressure dropped. Um, kind of scary, but. I'm able to eat again, still kind of really nauseous with it, but doing a lot better. That's kind of what's going on. So I will update you guys tomorrow and see what goes on there, but that's really what's going on. That's where I'm at. Bye, you guys. Hello, hello, hello. So we are finally home. We are home with restrictions. Um, we did get cultures back and blood work back and my numbers are still all over the place, but they're headed in the right direction. Um, we do believe that the leak is stopped completely. There's no more word. I'm recording. <laughs> I was just saying, everybody's sick. And I was saying, they finally got me sick. Um, but I spent four days with the hospital. Tell you that right here. Besides, I'm still bloated. I still have all that going on. Um, it happens after I leave the hospital. I stay for like ten days. But you can see, I'm still pretty bruised all the way back. Um, my bluey stuff fell off, so <laughs> I have to take care of that. My belly button didn't get affected. We had to clean that out. Um, but I'm home on antibiotics and basically bed rest, so I don't get to do anything. I gotta stay here. It sucks. Um, I do get tired and dizzy very easily. Um, School-wise, I did pass everything, so I passed my school in the first six weeks, so I'm on to my second term. Start that on Monday. That's kind of where we are right now. Um, right now we're just kind of watching everything. They don't think I require another scan or change in medication. Um, but I do got to go weekly to have blood work done um, to make sure that all my numbers are going the right way. So, um, yeah. I'm alright. I'm here. I'm tired. Um, my food does still get stuck. I still can't eat a whole lot of normal food. Like this morning I had fruit. I had grapes and strawberries and a banana. Um, half a mango. Also, cream of wheat. I can eat cream of wheat through a straw. Um, anything too sweet, I can't handle. Anything too greasy, I can't handle. So, I just gotta learn how to eat again. Which is absolutely But I'm gonna go. I love you guys so so much. Thank you guys for watching again. And we'll see you soon.